Hello friends, Kickstarter is back in 2016. Funnily enough, all five games in today's video are RPGs, but they're all different takes on the genre. Anyway, let's begin. If you're going to spend hours playing games, you may as well learn something useful in them, right? That's the idea behind ChemCaper, an RPG that teaches you chemistry. ChemCaper is intended to be educational, but is definitely a game in its own right. It has its own world, characters, story and battle system. Chemistry is really just sewed into the experience. Crafting uses the periodic table, mini games have you operate centrifuges and perform fractional distillation, and characters are based off particles like calcium and sodium chloride. ChemCaper Act 1 is coming out on mobile devices this March, and this Kickstarter is to raise funds for a PC port. When Ragnarok inevitably arrives, there will be three years of uninterrupted winter. Dragon of Legends is an online action RPG set in a world influenced by Celtic and Norse mythology. Its two main selling points are its compatibility across PC and mobile devices and its 2D art fairly unique to the genre. But more than being unique, the art has a high level of detail. A good example is how changing your gear will significantly affect the appearance of your character in the overworld. It just gives the Dragon of Legends a standout level of charm. The remaining content of the game is what you'd expect of an online RPG or MMO. There's loot drops, large boss battles, a skill system, professions to hone like fishing, character customization, and action based combat. Pledge 10 or more Canadian dollars to snag a copy. Children of Zodiacs is at once a love letter to JRPGs of the 16 and 32 bit eras and a reimagining of them. The turn based combat standard of the genre is spiced up with the addition of cards and dice. What cards are played determine what happen, and what dice are rolled determine how they happen. For instance, you play a card that lets you attack, and then roll a die which multiplies its damage by 2. The cards are collectible and the dice can be customised, adding another layer to the game's strategy. With about a month to go, Children of Zodiacs has roughly 40,000 more Canadian dollars to raise. CRPGs have had a resurgence of late, and this project, aptly titled Project Resurgence, seems to continue that trend. Already raising $100,000, Resurgence is a straight up throwback to old CRPGs of the 90s, such as the first two Fallouts and Baldur's Gate. The exploration is party oriented, the combat is turn based, you can react to the dialogue and the story can go in multiple directions. There are also some new ideas thrown in. Character customization provides many choices for female, LGBTQT and ethnic players, and combat can be switched between turn based and real time modes to suit your mood or playstyle. Resurgence will be delivered in 5 episodes, with each part belonging to an overarching plot. The first episode is listed for a 2017 release. To retreat freezing the stronghold of the singular's creation, resurrected through unnatural means, the Seeker descends. Consorting the Tower is a big project with a lot going on. First off, it's a sequel to 2014's Consortium, in which you remotely control Bishop Six, a peacekeeper in a parallel world. In the tower, you again take control of Bishop Six, and try to work out just who the good guys are in this new world. Described as an immersive sim, I think it's easy to think of Consortium as a sci-fi RPG. As you try to uncover the truth of the tower, you are given different avenues through which to seek it. You can negotiate with your words, go stealth with invisibility, go rogue by blowing everything up, or investigate through the vents and ducts of the tower. The tower is asking for 450,000 Canadian dollars on Kickstarter with about a month to run. That's it guys, we've got 10 bold predictions for indie games in 2016 and the best games of January coming soon. But until then, thank you for watching, my name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh, we'll see you next time here on Indie Former.